Last week, Wake Forest got a close field goal win over Boston College. It was a close one, but today they'll be taking on the 1-1 one one Louisiana Monroe. 2-0 no Wake Forest. Let's see how it goes. And on the first play of the game, Colton Browning will throw over to his receiver. And he's got some room. He's going to pass the past 40, past the 30, all the way down to at the 20-yard line. What a great play there in Louisiana Monroe, already in the red zone after one play. It's Wake Forest defense looking to play a little bit better and a good play over the mare. Tony Cook makes the reception. And Louisiana Monroe, next play, they're going to throw it to the end zone. And it is Jerome Ham, number 86, with a touchdown. And they take the lead. It is 7 to nothing early. It only took them four plays. In less than 30 seconds. Wake Forest trying to answer. They give it to Josh Harris. And he will be stuffed on the very first play. And he just looks sluggish to start every game. But uh, a good scramble here by Tanner Price. He's going to find Michael Campanero. Campanero breaks his tackle to the 30. Down to the 25. Out to the 22-yard line. A 43-yard reception. Michael Campanero. Big receiver has played in every game. And really stepped up in every game. Josh Harris on a handoff, a little bit slow to get it out, but he's going to get 11 yards and a first down. Tanner Price, he's going to look, he's going to scramble of it. He's stopped, and he will be hit hard there. Tanner Price on the very next play, he's going to look, he's going to scramble a little bit, and he's going to throw it into the ground. Fourth and 16, and they'll be forced to kick a field goal. Colton Browning, although, on the other hand, Trying to answer Montreal Washington on the catch. And Louisiana Monroe starting to get a good, another good drive together. All they throw that one out of bounds. Third and eight now. And he's, Browning's going to look back. He's going to be hit. There's a flag on the play. But a great catch there. You know, there is the flag. And it will be against the defense. It will be offsides on Zach Thompson. Oh, big play there. But they will decline it. Due to the amazing catch, Browning again, but this time he is sacked. Thompson makes for makes up for it with a sack, and Wake Forest gets the momentum back. Third and 17 now. Browning will drop back. He will be hit, and he will be taken down. Zachary Allen with the sack, as it was more of a cluster of the entire team. But now they will get the ball back. Tanner Price is going to scramble. He's going to find Michael Campanero. 14-yard play. Another first down for Wake Forest. Tanner Price in the backfield. He's going to drop. He's going to do another little scramble thing. He's going to throw it. And it's incomplete. Tanner Price again. He's going to drop. Again, he's going to do the scramble. He's going to look. He's going to fire. And he's got his main man, Brandon Terry. The wide out from New Jersey. 30-yard reception, and they're going to give it to Josh Harris. He will score the very first touchdown for Wake Forest, and they reclaim the lead. It is now 10-7, to Wake Forest, just like that. Louisiana Monroe on third and six, looking to do something, but it will be a three and out. Great Wake Forest defense, as usual. Still number one in the country in rushing defense. And uh, now on offense... It will be a screen to Josh Harris, and he will get six yards, third and three. On fourth and three, they're going to go for it. Not really territory where they would um, usually kick the field goal or punt it, so why not just go for it? And uh, Next play, Josh Harris is going to try to run it. It will be second and 13 after the stop by Louisiana Monroe. And now... He's going to look, he's going to fire, and he was looking for Anthony Rook. Tanner Price could not find his man. Tanner Price is going to drop back again. He's going to try to scramble. This time it's tipped up and it's caught by Josh Harris. Wasn't intended for him. It just kind of floated up in the air for maybe half a second. And he just was happened to be there. Maybe not the best play, but uh, that's how the first quarter will end. 10-7. to Wake Forest looking a little bit sloppy. That very first possession by losing Monroe was very crisp. Since then, nothing much. It is 10-7. And after an amazing punt, losing Monroe is back. 
And it'll be third and 11 after a great tackle. They are back on their one-yard line. And Browning is going to fake the run there. Browning, he's got some room past the 20, the 30, the 40. Almost he gets there and pushed out of bounds. Browning this time is going to hit it, hand it off to Edwards on the play. Louisa Monroe looking to keep this drive alive. But Colton Browning is sacked on the play. And again it is... Zach Thompson with another big time sack. Browning now trying to look again, and he is sacked again. Colton Browning is sacked this time by Brandon Chubb, and Wake Forest will retain the ball after a punt. A screen play to Michael Campanari breaks one tackle, breaks it all the way to just outside the 40 yard line. Another great play by Michael Campanaro, looking really receiving well today. Play it goes deep to Michael Campanaro again. But good defense there. Tanner Price trying to do too much there. Tanner Price this time he's going to run it. He's going to get the first down on third and four. You know he fumbles it out of bounds. Still got the first down. A 14-yard rush. Wake Forest starting to drive again. Tanner Price this time he's going to fake it to the running back. And he's going to hold on to it himself. An 11-yard carry. Tanner Price doing it all. Tanner Price this time on the throw. He's going to throw it over. And it is Anthony Rook on the reception. Won't get much. Six yards. And they're going to give it to Josh Harris. The running back. He will score. Wake Forest scores their second touchdown of the day. And it is the second one for Josh Harris. And he has two touchdowns in the first half. 17-7 to it is for Wake Forest. But look at that throw there. That was an amazing throw right there by... Colton Browning, who is actually playing really well for Louisiana Monroe. Their defense is just not holding up against this Wake Forest offense. And another good throw over there by Colton Browning. This one is for 14 yards, but it'll be fourth and four, and they'll be forced to punt back to Wake Forest. Josh Harris is going to get the handoff. He's going to bounce it outside and get a little bit. It'll be second and three now after a seven yard carry. Again, it'll be Tanner Price. Who will receive it after the snap. He's going to throw it over in the middle. And he's got Matt James. A 14 yard reception. Haven't heard his main name called at all today. His first reception of the day. He's going to dump it off. Harris is going to break a tackle. Try to cut it back inside. 7 yards on the reception. A good little screen pass to Harris to get some yards. And now Tanner Price is going to give it back to Josh Harris. He's going to run it. He's going to pound his way for a first down and more. Great run there. And Wake Forest really starting to drive. 105 left. He's going to throw it over. Michael Campanero makes the catch. Another great play there by Campanero, who's really showing off what he's got today. Tanner Price is going to PA it. Now he's going to look. He's going to look down. And he's got Matt James again. A 34 yard reception. And his first and goal for Wake Forest. They're going to give it to Josh Harris. Harris will be stopped after three yards. They're going to give it to him again. This time, Harris is in his third touchdown of the game. Josh Harris really running with some purpose. And that is how we end the first half. Wake Forest with a 24-7 lead over Louisiana Monroe. And here are some stats for you. Tanner Price, Wake Forest quarterback, is 13 for 23, 180 yards. On the other side for Louisiana Monroe, Colton Browning, 9 for 14, 172 yards, and a touchdown for him. Josh Harris on the rushing game for Wake Forest, 13 rushes, 42 yards, 3 touchdowns on the ground, 4 receptions with 10 yards. Also, Jairus Edwards for Louisiana Monroe, 7 rushes for 28 yards, nothing much. Michael Campanero, 4 receptions, 97 yards with a big game. And Tavares May, 2 receptions for 64 yards. And that is where we stand right now at halftime. Wake Forest with the lead. Back to the action now. As it will be given to Josh Harris. He'll bounce to the outside past the 50-yard line. He'll get it all the way past the 40 to around the 35. A great run there by Josh Harris. And he has just been a men among boys this season so far. Really running the ball all year with the purpose, especially in the second half. First half, he's looked a little bit sluggish. In pretty much all the games. And second half he's really 
stepped it up, rushing for over 300 yards in the second half. But this time, he's going to catch a pass. Josh Harris will score his fourth touchdown of the day. This one not on the ground, but in the air. But still a touchdown nonetheless. Four touchdowns from Wake Forest, and all four of them have come by Josh Harris, the stud running back for Wake Forest. Louisa Monroe trying to get something done. A little scramble there by Browning. He'll be hit, and he will be actually sacked on that one by Mike Olsen. Wow, nice play by Mike Olsen. I haven't heard his name at all this season. Olsen really making his name heard. Browning gets hit this time, but he's still going to make the pass to Kevin Steer. Steer? I don't know. I couldn't pronounce it there. Sorry. But DeAndre Martin, the backup, will get a run there. It'll be 3rd and 13 after getting stumped. 3rd and 13. Price is going to throw it over the middle. And he's got Anthony Rook, who won't get the first down. But it'll be 4th and 1 for Wake Forest. They're going to go for it. Give it to the fullback. He will get it. Jordan Garside on the run, who has actually come up in very good one-yard situations for Wake Forest. This time I'm going to jump it off to Josh Harris again on another screen. Screenplay is really working against this Louis de Monroe defense who can't seem to stop it. And Josh Harris who is also playing out of his bind. Michael Campanero, another fellow who has been playing out of his mind this game. That is 111 yards on 5 receptions. Insane. Tanner Price, speaking of Michael Campanero, he gets his first touchdown of the game in 8 yard reception. And Tanner Price, that puts him over the 260 mark. And now Louisiana Monroe trying to do something. Colton Redding, he gets sacked again. Another big sack by Zach Thompson, who has been a menace in the backfield today. And Browning, again, trying to do something, but he's hit hard again. Another sack by Wake Forest. Everyone on the defensive front getting in on the sack game. This time it is... Nikita Whitlock, which is also a really fun name to say, but uh, Wake Forest will retain the ball. Michael Campanero gets another catch. Who else would make a catch in this game other than Michael Campanero? Tanner Price, this time he's going to run. He's going to shovel it. It is fumbled, though, but they will recover the ball. It scores 38-7, so not really much of a factor. This one turning into a big-time blowout, although an attempt at pass there, really bad. It'll be 4th and seven. And they'll just kick the field goal and get three points. 41 to 7 now. And Browning is hit again. Colton Redding has been getting beat up all game. And it is Tony Clark. Not Tony Clark. Tony Cook on the catch. My bad. And then another throw over. And it is a good reception there by Colby Hammer. And it will be a first down for Louisiana Monroe. Browning is going to throw it over. And it is caught this time by Tony Cook. His. Favorite receiver, at least, of right now. Colton Browning drops back again. He's hit again. And they give it to Tony Cook again, who's going over the middle. They're really looking to maybe score again. They only scored on that very first possession, which was on the first 30 seconds of the game. Since then, they haven't scored another point. But that will end the third quarter. We'll head to the fourth quarter. 41-7. Wake Forest has this game. Pretty much under control here. Losing Monroe. They're going to look for the end zone. Will not get it. It'll be third and three. They have two chances to try and get the first down and get it in. And it'll be Browning who throws it, but it's incomplete. It'll be fourth and three. Will they just kick the field goal or will they go for it? And now on fourth down, they're going to go for it. And they're going to try to run it. But Edwards cannot get them to get the score. And it will be Wake Forest ball on 3rd and 10. It's going to give it to Michael Campanero on the pass play. And it will be another first down. Over 140 yards now for Campanero. What a performance here today. And Josh Harris with another great performance gets another reception. You know, his second one doesn't get the first down. But still playing really well. 7 receptions, 44 yards up to this point. And they're going to give it to Harris again who's going to get the first down. Rushing again like a madman. This time it's going to be the backup, DeAndre Martin, who uh, who actually has looked fairly good, not as well as Harris, but uh, DeAndre Martin, 
should be a good future for this team once Josh Harris leaves. You know, we're not really talking about the future. But uh, with this one pretty much under control, an another good pass over there to Anthony Rook, who uh, gets another gets another play. And uh, wasting some clock here, DeAndre Martin gets another run. Really, um, and they're going to give it back to the fullback, who's going to plow his way. And uh, Garside, Jordan Garside, the fullback. Three rushes, two rushes for 11 yards. And now they're going to give it back to DeAndre Martin. And he'll be stuffed. It'll be third and six. Wake Forest just trying to get it this game over with without being a bad. And attempt that run there by Tanner Price, but he will get absolutely nothing and shot down. They will settle for a field goal, 44-7. Luis Monroe trying to make something happen. And it's Kevin Johnson on the deflection there. And now Browning's going to throw it over to Tony Cook again. But another good tackle. Wake Forest really keeping them in check. And they will retain the ball after a punt. And it will be the second team that comes in. DeAndre Martin again as we've seen him as the backup. Again, another great piece for the great future of Wake Forest once this season is over. But also, uh, quarterback Tyler Cameron, who will be getting some work here. And a good throw over there to Ragland. And uh, Sherman Ragland, a receiver that we have never seen because he is on the bench. And Anthony DeAndre Martin, my bad there, will get the first down. That will end this game pretty much, and Wake Forest wins this one in a blowout. 44-7, Josh Harris, player of the game, again, that is his third one this year, out of three attempts, really, but some other stats. Tanner Price finished 24 for 39, 312 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, that's a first this season. Colton Browning for Louisa Monroe, 19 for 27, 254 yards and a touchdown. Josh Harris, again, 21 rushes, 101 yards, Four total touchdowns, 54 yards receiving for Wake Forest. Jairus Edwards on the other side, 11 rushes for 43 yards. Michael Campanero, in my mind, the real player of the game. Eight receptions, 141 yards, and a touchdown. But the defense with eight total sacks, three coming from Zach Thompson. Nikita Whit Whitlock with two sacks. Zachary Allen, Brandon Chubb, and Mike Olsen all with one sack. And that is how we close this game. Check back next week for a game against Army, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.